I'm Biker Trash, and I may or may not be wearing pants. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm in a good mood right now. I just found out that my favorite Transformers reviewer, who I thought had stopped making videos, YouTube just decided they were going to unsubscribe me from it. So, I resubscribed. We'll see if they do it again. Uh, anyway... Oh, uh, yeah. I'm going through a little bit of a restructuring of my finances right now, so for the time being, I'm not really making very many purchases of anything. Gundams, Transformers, anything like that. I did buy one thing. I bought the... Uh, Itty Bitty Constructicon Devastator. I uh, said I'd never buy the big one. I did buy the little one. It didn't have a price tag on it at the store. Kind of got a little sticker shock when I got to the counter. But I got it because I thought it was neat from the picture I saw of it on the forum. It is tiny. Uh, y'all tell me if y'all want me to open this up and review it. I mean, I just watched uh, Optobotamus' review on it earlier, and it doesn't look like it's that much. I mean, it's probably about the best it's going to look right there in that in the box. Kind of like, I think I said that about the uh, Masterpiece Starscream in the box is about as good as it's going to look. It does look a little bit better over there, but, you know, it, it looks good in the box. Uh, if y'all still want a review on it, I could probably open it, but like I said, it's 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 neat to look at, but it doesn't look like there's all that much meat to it. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, restructuring. Uh, basically, the last several, well, actually almost years. I've been spending about a hundred dollars a month more than I actually make. I didn't used to do that before I worked at the job I'm doing now. I always, well, for one thing, I worked 14 days offshore and then had seven days home, so I had 14 days to make and only seven to spend. It's hard to spend two days pay in one day, or at least it was for me. But, when I look at my, you know, my credit card bills at the end of the month, there wasn't any real big stuff that really stood out like, dang, I shouldn't have bought that. It was all just little $50 here, $30 there, and like I said, there wasn't any really big things out there. Well, for the last, I guess, two months, I've been keeping track of every single thing I spend and seeing just where all the little expenditures are adding up. And what's frightening is just how much money I spend on fuel. This is uh, a iPhone. Gotta hate them. Oh, hang on a second, I hit the wrong button. This uh, program right here, uh, Gas Cubby. I like it. It uh, averages fuel mileage and everything. So, like, let's see if I can zoom in on this. This is the fuel economy chart for my Dodge. This was whenever I was towing up to North Texas, and this is just over one month right here. I think this is one month. No, that is the entire time I've owned it. This is the fuel economy over one month. But uh, anyway, you can take and... Ah, shoot. 
my fingers are cold. I've been eating that little frozen orange, which I love frozen orange juice. It's better than candy. Actually, it's probably unhealthy as all get out, too, but it's got to be better than filling yourself up full of all kinds of... Losing my train of thought here. Uh, basically, and then this is the fuel economy of all my vehicles charted out. Including my red truck that I got rid of. But here is the bad part. This is, well, for me it is. See this right here? I'm trying to think where it is. Right here. Uh, total cost in about 10 months I've spent $2,400 on fuel. Just on fuel. That's not service costs and everything else. Um, I need to get back to where I'm riding my motorcycle more because it's a lot cheaper to fuel up a motorcycle that gets 45 miles to a gallon than a Dodge that gets 17. Which that's a whole nother subject. Everybody was told me, oh yeah, the Dodge diesels get 22 miles to a gallon on the highway and everything. No, they don't. Maybe if you just get in it and drive, you know, 45 miles an hour and don't ever pass anybody or don't pull anything, it might get 22, but I got places to go. But I mean, just in the last month, I've spent $459 on fueling up the Dodge. So it's stuff that sneaks up on you that is the biggest expenses. Like that right there, $855 the entire time I've owned the truck. So that's pretty much as much money as I've spent on toys and other plastic crack over the entire course of the previous year is what I've spent on fuel on that truck for a hair under three months because I haven't owned the truck three months yet I don't think but anyway um, trying to use my motorcycle more this is a bad time of the year to try and do that because the weather is very uh, humid I'd say about 110 percent humidity um, and I don't like ride I'll ride a bike in the cold I'll ride a bike in the rain I don't like riding a bike in the rain and cold, you know, I am a wuss. Um, is there anything else I want to say? Uh, yeah, and I'm also trying to just slow down because, like, I was looking on Walter Hobby the other day at some stuff I wanted, and I'd put together like a $300 shopping cart of all stuff that I just wanted, and then it would have been like another hundred and thirty dollars to ship and I'm like no I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna do this cuz like the last thing I've really ordered was uh, from Hobby Link Japan I ordered the Master Gundam to go along with the uh, God Gundam and it's sitting over in the corner hasn't been opened I mean even stuff I bought at MechaCon I don't think I've no no I did assemble one thing I bought at MechaCon, and that is this guy right here, the Blue Duel. But I've got enough kits to keep me busy for the next year, but still, I got the desire for more and everything. I'm having to try and fight that. So, anyway, uh, I don't even know if there was was a real point to this vlog. Uh, basically, I'm broke. Don't expect to see anything new except this right here, which may or may not even get reviewed beyond, <laughs> you know, how excited do I sound? I'm not even taking it out of the package uh, unless there's enough demand for it. But I mean, everybody pretty much 
has reviewed it by this point, I'm sure. You know, I'm usually the last to do anything. And if y'all don't really care one way or the other, I'll just leave it in package and admire it like that. So, uh, anyway, y'all have a fantabulous day. And take care. I always thought that was neat that this lights up in the camera. Sorry, I, I'm just sidetracked there. Y'all have a good day.